In this lecture, we are going to see how to simulate continuous transmission of a character using UART with the help of a Proteus Simulator IDE. So here I, am, I have already done basic connection of an LPC2138 microcontroller along with this, its VCC and ground. So how to create a basic circuit using LPC2138 in Proteus? I have already explained in one of my previous video that is LED blinking video. So if you don't have any idea regarding Proteus simulator, you can go through that video and you will be able to identify how to create this basic circuit. So now I am starting with the circuit. I have opened the project. I have made the circuit. Then in the next step, you want to see the continuous transmission of a character using UART. So for that you need to have a virtual uh, serial port monitor known as virtual terminal. So for getting that you can click on this virtual instruments mode in the toolbar. So this is known as the virtual instruments mode. You can see one uh, oscilloscope icon uh, like one oscilloscope icon is there. You can click on that. So this is a virtual instruments mode. You can see these many virtual instruments are there oscilloscope logic analyzer counter timer etc from that you need to click on virtual terminal right so you need to click on first virtual instruments mode this is virtual instruments mode from that you need to click on virtual terminal then don't drag this virtual terminal simply move the cursor to this point click here once so you can get you will be getting the skeleton of the virtual terminal click once more so you are going to connect the TX and RX of virtual terminal to this uh, LPC2148. So in order to get more uh, uh, clarity on the pins, you can click on the zoom in button. Then now uh, once more you can click. So now you can uh, see that uh, the controller has gone out of the view. So you can click on this green box. In this uh, small window you can click on green box that shows the viewable area then move it over the actual controller and terminal where you want to see that so you need to connect this rx of virtual terminal to tx of lpc2148 so pin number 19 is tx so p0.0 or txd0 that means it is a tx pin of uart0 so you need to make the connection from pin number 19 that is tx of 2142138 to rx of virtual terminal now, for time being, you are not connecting the other one. That is from Rx to Tx, we are not connecting. Why? Because in this program, you are going to check only the serial transmission program. That is, you are going to check uh, the serial transmission, continuous transmission of a serial character from ARM to PC. So, here, PC is simulated by using your virtual terminal uh, uh, component. So, normally, what you will be doing, you will be sending an ARM, uh, you will be sending the data from ARM to PC. And if it is a Windows 7 PC, you will be having a software known as Hyper Terminal installed in your PC. So, Hyper Terminal software is used for viewing the serial data which is coming through the uh, serial port. Previously, we have seen the DB9 connector. So, whatever data you are receiving on the uh, CPU will be seen in the uh, hyperterminal software. Similarly, using hyperterminal software, you are able to transmit the program from PC to ARM also. Right? So, by using hyperterminal software, you can send out serial data as well as receive the serial data. So, both the reception and transmission is done using a software known as hyperterminal, which is present in Windows 7. Windows 10 also uh, uh, it is available. But now, since you are doing the simulation of serial transmission, right? instead of hyperterminal software, which is available in PC, you are using a simulator model of that hyperterminal. That is known as this virtual terminal. right? So, this is a simulation model of hyperterminal software that is already available in Windows 7. right? So, here you are you uh, simulating the hyper terminal using this virtual terminal available in Proteus. So here what you are doing, you are transmitting a character A continuously from ARM to PC. So this is your ARM, P0.0 
PC is simulated by using this virtual terminal. So whatever data you are sending through the transmission line should be shown in this virtual terminal. That is what you are going to see. Right. In the next step, you need to load the hex file in this controller. So you can double click on this controller. You can directly double click on this controller. Here you can see the clock frequency is 12 megahertz. Keep it as 12 itself. Then the program file you need to change to your actual program file. So this is your actual program file urttx.hex that we have already created this hex file using keel id in the previous lecture i have done the creation i have shown the creation of this hex file using uh, a program written in keel id if you want to understand more uh, about this program you can go through that lecture i'll be giving it in the i button you can go through that so now i am selecting that hex file which i have created in the previous lecture then give open so now you can see the program file is urtx.hex clock frequency is 12 megahertz so program file and clock frequency is set then you can click ok now you can run the simulation for running the simulation on the left hand side corner bottom corner left hand side bottom corner you can see this run button you can click on that so now you can see the this is a virtual simulation model of the virtual terminal you can see that a is transmitted from tx line that is why you can see the red and blue color is changing here and here. So you are transmitting character A from TX and that character will be received in the virtual terminal. Whatever it is received in the virtual terminal is shown here. So whatever character is received by virtual terminal. Virtual terminal is nothing but simulation of PC. So if you are making the hardware connection with ARM and PC, the same uh, character will be received in hyper terminal of PC. So instead of hyper terminal, you are using a simulation model of hyper terminal known as virtual terminal. Right? Then one more thing, uh, while uh, the simulation is going on, let us take you have closed this window. Right? So how will you take back this window? Sometimes you may have closed it, you will stop the simulation and again if you want to run the simulation, you will be running this. But while running, you can see that the uh, 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 debug that is a virtual terminal window will not be visible here. So how will you take back that virtual terminal window? You can go to debug. You can click on this debug tab. In the debug tab, you can see virtual terminal will be shown. Click on that. So click on debug, click on virtual terminal. And this virtual terminal will be only displayed in this debug window while it is running. If the simulation is not running, you cannot see this. So you need to keep in mind, while the simulation is running, then only this option will be available here. When you are stopping the simulation, you won't see that. So if you want to take back the virtual terminal window, go to debug uh, uh, tab, click on virtual terminal. So you can, you will be able to see it back. Then if you are running it, you can see uh, the simulation again. You can see a, a is coming again. Okay. So this is how you are simulating a serial transmission program using Proteus IDE.